lot of people ask, what does the calf have to do with the knee? So today we're going to answer all these questions and kind of come up with a correlation between calf tightness and knee pain. So what makes up the calf and the knee complex? If you look at the bone structure, the femur is the thigh muscle and the thigh bone. The tibia and the fibula actually make up what would essentially be the calf in the posterior aspect of it. So together, if you look at the back end, they would work together in order to work the knee joint. So your calf muscle would be here, while your hamstrings would be here on the posterior aspect. If you flip around, this would be your shin and this would be your quadriceps. So the two muscles that make up the calf are the gastrocnemius and the soleus. The gastrocnemius is those two big heads that pop out when people do calf raises. And everyone focuses on gastroc because they look good at the beach. But there's another muscle underneath called the soleus that very rarely gets worked. And in order to work the soleus complex, it would actually be doing calf raises in a bent knee position. On the posterior aspect, you will see this would be the gastroc soleus complex, which would be the calf muscle, and here would be the hamstrings. The hamstring muscles actually come down and the tendons attached down here, while the calf muscles come up and stop right around here. In this aspect right here is a popliteus muscle that often gets hurt and often gets strained during excessive running and excessive extension which a lot of people, when they're running, try and catch with their heels and drag, catch and drag, which ends up inflaming this whole area. One of the best things that can be done for calf tightness is meeting with a professional and meeting with physical therapists in order to learn how to properly stretch the gastroc and soleus complex, learning how to stretch the anterior and posterior aspects of the muscles, and also foam rolling. Foam rolling is one of the best techniques and it's one of the hot trends right now, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. They also don't know what foam roller they should be using, considering there are many on the market and there are many in sports stores that may or may not be appropriate for your particular issue. So if you're dealing with any type of issues, even if you're at the beginning stages where you just have tight calves and it just doesn't seem to be going away, or if you're at the end stages where you have knee pain associated with tight calves and everything is just a disaster, PT is here to help. Please call or click the link below if you have any more questions or concerns.